Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the Wondershare Demo Creator team and I'm going to be your host today. Today's video topic is going to focus on screen captures and also screenshots. The difference between the two is that the first one is going to be just basically a video that you record using Wondershare's Demo Creator for example and the other one is going to be a still image of a certain frame inside of the video or just an image in itself. And screen captures and also screenshots are a very good way to share information with other people and it's especially useful during the current pandemic where you can't really talk to other people directly but you have to rely on other sources Sources to share information with others. Also, if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe to it as well as to click the little notification bell down there. That way you are going to be up to date when it comes to new videos here on the channel, giveaways, future updates for Wondershare Demo Creator and so on. So definitely make sure to support the channel by becoming a member. By the way, if you have never used Wondershare's Demo Creator before, do not fear. You can find the download link to the free trial down there at the top of the description. Just click it, download it and install it. And after you're done, you can go ahead watching the video. So before we can get started recording an actual scene or taking a screenshot in some way, you might want to clean up your desktop a tiny little bit. It happens to me a lot of times that I just get lost in my work and I have a lot of stuff lying around on the desktop as you can see here. It's quite a mess at the moment. So take all the files that you don't need right now, put them into a certain folder and then you are good to go. Once you're ready, click the new recording button, set all the things up that you want to set up like audio sources etc. Really doesn't matter, also the size of your screen, for example full screen. And after you're done with that, start the recording process and once you're done recording, click the stop button or press F10 once again to stop the recording. And then we are going to be dragged over to Wondershare's Demo Creator and its video editing interface, where all the fun is going to begin. Tip number two that I would like to present to you today is to add additional text to your screen capture or screenshot as well as arrows. This might seem like a total no-brainer. This might seem kind of arbitrary, but it really helps. Just imagine you're a teacher standing in front of the class and you want to present a certain point on your blackboard, like the blackboard here. It's really helpful to point your finger on a certain spot, just like with an arrow. It really helps students, for example, understand your point a bit better and you can add additional text and arrows, obviously, in Wondershare's Demo Creator 2 really easily. Now all the text and arrow options can be found over here in the annotation tab in Wondershare's Demo Creator. Just click on here and add, for example, an arrow with a certain type of text. Okay, You can also rotate it to make it point at a certain part of your presentation. Also add a certain text. Maybe someone did a very great job during the pandemic. Tell them using text. It's very helpful. Good stuff. All of this and more can be done easily in Wondershare's Demo Creator. Also, little pro tip, I would like to share another feature with you that also features the text and arrow option. Namely, what you can do in the recording interface, you can activate the screen drawing tool. It's very useful. What you can do in the screen drawing tool is you can draw on the screen during your recording, which is very helpful. Meaning you can add additional arrows one after another. You can draw into everything whatsoever. And yeah, you can annotate however you wish. You can also add text. It's very useful. Definitely check it out if you haven't done so already. It's kind of a new feature. Only has been added like one and a half months ago. It's very good. And I really like to use it during my presentations to my class, for example, at school. When it comes to the choice of either taking a screenshot, so a still image of a certain frame, or taking a video, you should consider what you want to do, what point you want to bring across. And if you really want to tell a bigger story, if you want to show a process step by step, I invite you to try out the actual recording option in Wondershare's Demo Creator. You can take screenshots later by taking a look at a certain frame and then clicking on the screen capture button right here. But if you really want to show a certain process going on one after another step by step, definitely make sure to set up a recording for your teammates, for example. It makes their life way easier and you can actually add annotations one after another too if you forgot to add something while you spoke or the like. Last but not least. Sometimes it can happen that you show in a presentation, for example, um, how your business did over a certain amount of time. You are going to show a certain graph, but 
Maybe you don't want other people to see how much money you earn directly during the process. And this can happen a lot. This is what we call sensitive information in our business. And sometimes you have to get rid of sensitive information by either putting a picture over the certain parts, censor it out in a way. But one very good option to censor sensitive information in one test demo creator is to make use of the mosaic option. For this, you are simply going to go down to the effects panel and then you are going to drag the mosaic effect down. You can also scale it up and down, really depends on the amount of censoring you want to for which amount of time. And once you're done with that, you can drag the mosaic part around however you wish. You can scale it up and down. You can even increase or decrease the amount of a mosaic you want to have. You can rotate it, etc. All of this on the right hand side in the transform options. And hence you're done. Pretty good, right? Sometimes you don't want other people to see certain parts of your screen. And this way you can actually get rid of this problem very easily using WonderShare's Demo Creator. And this is basically it. If this video was helpful and to your liking, then definitely make sure to subscribe to the WonderShare's Demo Creator channel. That way you are going to support myself too and the channel in general. And you're always going to stay up to date when it comes to new updates of WonderShare Demo Creator. And we are doing giveaways quite often here on the channel. So definitely make sure to check those out too, as well as my other videos that I created for this channel. Other than that, this has been Jens from the WonderShare Demo Creator and I bid you farewell. Have a good one, ciao, and please stay safe.